basically as a technology introduction, the question is what is an immersive display? And given the current excitement about metaverse with Meta's formerly known as Facebook announcements last week and followed up by yesterday of additional announcements from Microsoft. And I even saw that Nike is filing seven trademark applications as, as it prepares itself to enter the metaverse market. The immersive display will play an extremely crucial role in the future of human connectivity, um, social and professional interaction and online commerce. So there are a lot of uh, words and verbiage and spec measurements here, but at the end of the day, the simple definition and eventual goal is that the display must be lifelike for the user to experience an immersive um, environment. So today for the very first time publicly, we are announcing JDI's 2.88 inch 1201 PPI display. Um, this is actually not even on our website yet. So today is a very, this slide is a very first public announcement for it. Um, I can share with you that this display is actually already in mass production, shipping to our lead customer, and it uses our LTPS technology. LTPS is a core strength of JDI's know-how. This 1200 and one PPI LCD is our very first VR display using what we call advanced LTPS, which is an evolutionary step to our baseline LTPS. By combining both LTPS and oxide backplane, we can realize higher aperture ratios. You can see the image on the left side is a comparison between our baseline LTPS and advanced LTPS and um, you can see a 30% greater aperture ratio for the same 1200 PPI resolution. The right side image is the aperture ratio transition chart. So you can see at 1200 PPI, we can achieve a significant step up in aperture ratio by applying our advanced LTPS. This technology will enable much more brighter displays for high definition LCDs over 1200 PPI. So going forward for all of our uh, new displays that are very high resolution, we'll use advanced LTPS. Another technology that we'd like to introduce to you is um, local dimming. So for best contrast, we use local dimming backlights, which are realized by using mini LEDs along with an algorithm for the backlight system. The right start ch chart shows the outline of local dimming and the system algorithm. So basically, step one is the image analysis. And based on the step one results, the backlight output is controlled, which leads to the final optimized image. For um, this approach, as a result, local dimming backlight LCDs can achieve contrast ratios above 100,000 to one, while also saving power consumption. 